Hello, and welcome to my first Autodesk Maya tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you about end particles in Autodesk Maya 2009. Alright, so to start off, we're going to create a simple bowl using polygons. Um, you can go up to your toolbar here and click polygons, and we're going to drag a sphere out onto the grid. Alright, now, I like to center my object by going to the translate over here. Alright, let's put that away by clicking Control A. Alright. Um, now, I'm going to click on this new feature in my 2009. Click the right box over there. Right click, select face. Select all the top faces of the sphere. Alright, I'm going to delete them now. Now, get a better view here by clicking the corner of that box. Alright, right click, select object mode. And click edit mesh. Extrude. Sorry about that. It's just my timer up here speaking to me. Um, anyway, alright, so now I'm not going to use this. I'm going to cl click the hotkey R on my keyboard and scale this in a bit. That's odd. Alright, sorry about that. Don't click on the Y axis tool. I'm going to undo that. Click on the center here. Alright, now. You can drag that up a bit if you want, or just leave it. Alright, so, it's a basic bowl. Just gonna get out of there. Alright, now I'm gonna drag that up here. And now we can start our end particles part of the tutorial. Alright, so, in order to access the new end particles, go, you gotta change your toolset here by clicking end dynamics. Not dynamics, but end dynamics. Alright, so, now we're going to go up here to end particles, click create end particles, and we're going to take this tool set out of here by clicking that little top three line thing. Alright, now from here we're going to create an emitter. And make sure you have balls selected because we're going to be creating cereal or rice, whatever you prefer. Alright, now we're going to drag the emitter up and not too far up. Alright, we're gonna click play just to see what happens. You notice that balls are coming down. Alright, now we're gonna change our time slider here so we can get a little bit longer of an animation. Change it to 100. Alright, now click play again. And you notice the balls are going right through the ball. And now, in order to change that, we're gonna... Sorry, go to the end of the timeline. In order to change that, we're going to click on the bowl and go up here and click Fill Object. Alright. Now, when you, if you notice, when you press play again... Ah, sorry. Don't click Fill Object, undo that. Alright. I'm going to create, go to End Mesh, Create Passive Collider. Alright. Now, it created a cat passive collider for the balls to collide with, so notice when you click play again, the balls will fill up in the ball. Alright, and you notice that they're going to be overflowing. Well, actually not in this case, but if you had your time frame a little longer, say 150, the bowl will overflow, and the balls will come out. Alright, so in order to stop that, um, you're going to go up here. I'm gonna go back and let's pause it like around there. And we're gonna go down to the rate part and click on sorry, I'm looking for right here. Oh sorry. Um make sure you have your two bar thing selected and two panel, side panel, whatever you want to call it. Alright, and click on the emitter node. Should wait till that loads, sorry about that. Um, alright, emitter one. And um Yeah. Alright, sorry, sorry. Just found right. Alright, now we're gonna right click and click key selected. Alright, now go up a few frames, stop it, and set the rate to zero. Alright, now we're gonna right click on that and select key selected. You notice the if you play it again, 
the ball to stop emitting from the emitter. Alright. Now, you're going to wait till the ball is set a little bit. Stop it there. And you're going to go up top to... Well, sorry. You can delete the emitter at the time. And now you can go up to the top here and select initial state set from current and now you'll just have basically your cereal in a bowl and there's no animation so when you start this uh, time slider at the beginning it'll start like this alright so it's basically my simple tutorial of end particles in my 2009 um, I'll probably be creating some more tutorials on this shortly so if you have any suggestions or anything just ask me um, and basically amateur uh, 3D modeler um, so I won't be I'm not too professional at this but this is just your simple way of filling a bowl with cereal or whatever so that's all thanks